Hi guys, myself Vijay Tavadhan, greetings of the day. In this video lecture, I am going to show you a solution for a problems on a straight line. And the problem is like this. A line has its end A 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. The end B is 55 mm above HP and the line is inclined at 30 degree to HP. The distance between end projectors is 50 mm. Draw the projections of the line. Determine the true length of the line and its inclination with VP. For which the data collection will be like this. The locus of A dash A and B dash is given. Also angle theta is given to us and the distance between projector is given as 50 mm. Now uh, let us make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13. We will start solving the problem. Now one can draw the XY line and after drawing an XY line the three projectors are here. So three locus distance has been given. Two are above, one is below. So two locus I am going to draw above the XY line and after drawing the two lines above the XY line one line will be drawn below the XY line then the respective distances will be marked the distance between XY line to this line is given as a 15 millimeter and then accordingly this value is going to be 10 millimeter and then the another locus point is going to be uh, mentioned as the distance between this locus to the xy line is mentioned as 55 millimeter then make use of a line command uh, with the point 13 as a thickness draw a projector for p dash a dash to a and then one more distance is given that is the distance between the projectors is given as uh, 50 mm so let me draw another projector but i don't know the locus so no issues with respect to this let us uh, draw this value as 50 mm then once the given data are furnished we know that this point will be p dash so let me mark this as a, a, a dash and this will be a accordingly this is going to be b dash and then b will be marked somewhere here but we don't know where exactly b is going to be marked and also one more given data that is the true angle is given as 30 degree so with respect to angle a dash uh, at an angle of 30 degree let us draw a line till it touches the locus of b dash next this position we are going to mark it as b1 dash b1 dash now after marking this we know that b1 dash will be projected to the locus of a to get the position of b1 and once we get the position of b1 once we get the position of b1 uh, from the help of this B1, one can draw an arc with 0 0.13 as a thickness. One can draw an arc with B1 to this projector to get the exact position of to get the exact position of B. The, by this, almost of the projections has been completed. Now make use of a line command with thickness. Whatever the left out, we have to complete it. Uh, with the end point of this line and uh, the, this arc and the line draw a locus of B because that is a point of locus what we are going to get it it is not generated properly again select the line and the end point of an arc and get with respect to these uh, start points so let me draw a locus properly okay once the locus is drawn this point is going to be B so using the text command this is going to be marked as b now using the line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 join the line a to b as a dark line that is the required top view line and a dash to b dash as the required front view line and to get the top view over here now one can make sure that using the arc by center point command uh, make this a dash that is front view length is going to be parallel to HP this is going to be the B2 dash point from the B2 dash point project it to the locus of B so that from the locus of B we are going to get the required point that is B2 join B2 to yeah this is going to be the required true length the true length now we can measure 90 and here also it is 90 that is the solution is correct then make use of the text command mark this point as a B2 dash and this point as B2. By thus, uh, almost the projections has been completed. 
Then after completing the projections, what are the given data are there? We have to show the given data. Uh, the given inclination is given as 30 degrees. So let me mark this as uh, 30 degree and then yeah, uh, everything else is finished. Then what are the things to be measured? The true length has to be measured. So make use of uh, the smart dimension command. Using the smart dimension distance between A dash to B1 dash is 90 millimeter and then A B2 is supposed to be measured the same 90 millimeter. Both are measuring the same distances. And then true length of the line and its inclination with VP and its inclination with VP. Inclinations with VP means only I am supposed to measure the A B2 line with an angle of like this. So this is coming as 42 degree. Then make use of a text command, uh, switch on the caps lock, press the cursor here X and mark it as Y here, mark it as VPHP and then using the text box uh, let us complete a uh, solution. What is that solution? The true length, true length uh, is equal to A dash to B dash, sorry B1 dash which is also equal to AB2 which is nothing but exactly 90 millimeter 90 millimeter then let me slightly increase the box size and then uh, after this one uh, angle phi has to be measured for which uh, f is equal to 42 is the value then the letter f should be in the symbol so make it as a symbol and then the degree symbol is available here so let me copy and paste it here Otherwise, make use of uh, the character map, select the degree symbol, select, copy and then paste it at after 42. Whatever the unwanted things are there, uh, remove that unwanted things. 42. So by this, I can say that the solution is completed in all aspects. If anybody is having any kind of doubts, you can call me at any point of time, but make sure that it's a not late night calls and also i request please share these videos to all your first year engineering students who are having engineering graphics and also please do subscribe to this channel so that i can publish more and more videos thank you guys